Hi everyone, it's Gail here with A Craft With Me. We're gonna work with book pages today. Um, and I have a couple of things to talk to you about digitals from yesterday. Maybe I'll do that first. Um, I misspoke yesterday. This, uh, These beautiful designs that are from Scattered Pictures Art, love them. The name of the gal with this shop is Sarah. And I, I called her Liz because I was talking with another gal. Her name is Liz about her digital. So it's Sarah at Scattered Pictures Art. So I wanted to correct that little mistake. And then I wanted to share with you what, um, what I have from Liz. And Liz is ERV Designs. I'll put her link in the, um, in the description box below along with uh, Sarah's. So these are from Liz and they are uh, music digitals. And so I had myself a little play. I printed them out on regular copy paper. Here is um, her designs on regular copy paper. You can kind of see behind the music She Like here she has a phonograph and a music stand and one of those tick, tick, tick things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> you can tell I'm not very musical. Um, this one, this one has some light. Oh, it's got a piano behind. So it's kind of got almost like watermarked behind the music. There's the piano. This one has a music stand and some instruments. But this is going to be awesome for collage. That one has a grand piano. Um, so anyway, this is copy paper. I did that. Then I did them on my matte photo paper. Beautiful that way as well. And they do have titles at the top. Um, I did let Liz know that it wasn't quite printing. So she, by the time this airs, she may have corrected that and or, but it's like I told her, I don't care. I want the music. I want the notes. I don't care about the title really. So that's just, that may be just me, but anyway, I'd rather have more of the notes. So those two, copy paper, matte photo paper, then look what I did. I did them on, um, on copy paper, or coffee dyed paper. <gasps> I love them. So that's my favorite. That's my favorite way to do Liz's digitals. Irv Design, E-R-V Design. So that is her digital. So now I have those ready to play with too. And I'm going to keep the copy dyed, coffee dyed ones because I think I might use those in the project that we're going to do today. We're going to play with book pages. Um, totally inspired, as always, by uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. She was making Patricia Pockets, which I love to do too and haven't in a while. Actually, she was making envelopes. So uh, her first couple of envelopes, um, she doubled paper, which I've got that glued together. And I wanted to use this. This is like old paper. You can kind of see it's, it's kind of yellowed. So first pocket, and then this is doubled in half here. And then going to go down here with a second pocket. And so we will tear that off at the bottom. I'm going to use my regular ruler so it's a little straighter than normal. And we'll just give that a tear. Oh, that's yummy old paper. I'm going to put that in my scrap bin. Okay, so that's the first one ready to be sewn. And then we'll just, this will just fold over for the flap of the envelope, like so, like that. So it's just a big envelope and I wanted one of these for my current journal. So I'm hoping, yeah, that should fit just fine on a page. Okay, so there's that one. We need to sew around it, but let's get a few more ready. Um, this one, once again, doubled papers, this one in half, but a boom. And then this one is just folded in half the other way, like so. 
And so um, this is going to make a pocket this way so that you can put things in there. So we'll go ahead and excuse me as I knock things off. So there is another one. We can do another one that way if we want to. And then we will fold this over at about, about here. That's a big flap for an envelope, but I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like that. It gives you some room to do something. So we'll sew that as well. Then I had the idea, here's another couple that are glued together. And then um, I did this piece of paper in half, just fold it in half. And then I folded it up this way because I thought it would be kind of fun to have like uh, sew down here and have these be two slanty pockets. So I think I want to do that with this one. And then, um, oh, Rachel on this one, on the double pocket here, she, she sewed down the middle here to make this one two small pockets. I really like that idea. So we're going to try that too. So that one, and then I have one more double here that we could do. Um, let's think about it. Maybe we want to do what if we, I wonder if we could do one, two, three. Let's see what happens if we try three pockets because why not, right? So we'll do the first one in half doesn't really matter if the writing's right side up, upside down, because we're going to decorate these anyway, right? So, like that. Then this one, we will put down a, down a ways. Like, maybe, let's go like down an inch, okay? So I'm gonna then, that's an inch, so I'm gonna tear this at an inch. Okay, and then let's do this one. And I say it doesn't matter which way the printing's going and then I try and line it up so it's going going into the right way okay yeah there is plenty of room to do that so and those little scraps can go in the scrap bucket okay so that's gonna be a three pocket and I don't think I'll go down the middle I think I'll just leave it and then it will bend over like that. Okay, well, one thing, you know, that is different between Rachel and I is I need to do a little inking. Um, but I am going to only ink the edges of the pages, or the edges of the pockets, I meant to say, because then um, it's just hard to do that afterwards. But then the rest of it can be inked later. But so there is our three pockets. So that will, that shows up pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm going to set this one. Let's see, let's maybe we'll, maybe we'll pop these over somewhere else because we might have, we might be able to do more. But I thought I would do, get these four sewn and then we could do a little decorating. Yeah, and then this one, I do want to sew down the middle. So that's that one. This one, let's see, we're going to do this edge. And then do the edge of this pocket. Like so. 
like that. Okay, so that's that one. And then one more here. We'll do this one like Rachel did and sew down, sew down the pocket first. So we'll get our sewing machine over here. So that'll be that, but that'll be sewn down. Now I have just a, a fairly light gray um, stitch uh, uh, thread in my sewing machine, but I think I think it'll actually be kind of pretty. Um, and it might not show great on camera the stitching, but it will definitely show on the pieces. Okay, so this one we were going to um, we were going to sew down this pocket. So we're going to take the envelope apart for just a second while we do that. I don't know. Let's let's pinch this so we can see where the middle is and at least kind of get started off at the middle. Okay. So I am going to and I'm going to back stitch up at the top just to give it a little Okay, so there is that stitched down the middle. Oh goodness, what what do I got going on here? My my thread is caught under my machine. Okay, well that's what happens when you move your sewing machine. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so then that's that. Then we're going to, I'm just going to do a, um, just do a, a zigzag all the way around this envelope. We'll get these all sewn and then we'll be ready to rock and roll as far as. And it's fairly quick as far as, um you know getting them sewn sewn around I'm sorry I know I kind of bounce you around when I get going fast <laughs> whoops just about went to the edge of that one. Oh well correcting correcting trajectory Okay, so there is that one, all sewn around. I guess you can see the stitching pretty well. So, super cute. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, then this one, let's see. Oh, I need to ink this edge too because it'll be down. Okay, so let's see. The first thing we need to do on this one is stitch across here. So I think I'll do that in just a straight stitch. Just give that a little cross this way. Okay. Good, good, good. And then... I have to trim the bottom of that a little bit. I might have got it a little long, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to go back to zigzag and go around these guys. Let's see if I can line up that bottom. Let's just trim that right now so it's not in our way. How about that? Get rid of it. Then I can do what I wanted to do there as far as stacking it down all right so zigzag sorry i'm trying to hold it so it doesn't jiggle the table i know it kind of makes the camera go wobbly look away 
do what you're doing on your project for a minute. <laughs> I have kind of a neat decorating idea though that I'm anxious to try with these. So we're going to do it as soon as I get them sewn. All right, got that one all sewn around. That's fun. So see, then this one has a pocket here and then a pocket that goes sideways. That's fun. Okay, and then this one, oh, I wanted to sew down the middle first. Straight stitch right down the old middle. I'm just going back and forth just because that it would be a pressure point there. Okay. Now let's do this with zigzag. Zigzag. Why do I want to say zigzag paddywhack? Give the dog a bone. <laughs> That's so not the, so not the rhyme. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need to trim that a little. I can see that. Oh, I can tell when I'm jiggling the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got one more after this, and that's it. And we'll work with these four. I might make some more today, but I don't know. So I'm excited because my videos are now into my days where I'm at my retreat. <laughs> So, okay, so then that's that one, and we'll fold down the flap in a second. Okay, then this one with the three is going to be kind of awesome, I think. Okay. Kind of thick right there at the bottom, but that's okay because this paper is so um old it's old so thickening up isn't a bad thing <laughs> it's probably a good thing Yay. Okay. There they are. All done. Okay. So we can get rid of our sewing machine for now. Okay. So now we have four envelopes. We do, we do. Now I just have to decide which ones do I want, which one do I want for my, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to work very well. I need to sew across there. Hang on one second. Just a quick little, oh, what? Maybe four stitches? Maybe. Oh, goodness. And I went, I went back and forth a little bit because that's going to definitely be a pressure point. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I had a vision. I just wasn't making it real. Okay, so there we go. So now those are little little pockets right there. Okay, so now I'm going to fold down where I want to fold down. Now this one, 
let's see, I wanted to clip that off slightly, kind of was sticking out, but then, so I want to cover the pocket, so I'm going to go just to there, okay, with that one. Oh gosh, that's going to be really cute. I'm excited to do that one. Then this one has the three. And so we probably want it to cover that last level. So I'm going to do that one about right there. Okay. Oops. Kind of, kind of pooched to the outside. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> Okay, we're that one I already pretty much did. Okay, and then this one, I think I want to go up a little bit. And so I could have like a taller card in this one. <clears throat> okay, so I have to decide. I think I'm going to use this one for the current journal that I'm working on, the collage journal for Artie Mays. And because, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to do my idea. I'm going to do my idea first, and then we'll go from there. Excuse me while I slurp water. Okay, so I want kind of grungy, dark papers on this. That's kind of what I want. Maybe a little straw paper. I don't know. So I'm, I'm looking in. I'm looking in my collage papers here. Let's just get this out for a second. Um, ooh, some of this would be nice. Some of this might be nice. Let's just pull down that. Uh, let me get my blue paper. Oh, gosh. Scooch some things over. Give myself some room. Okay. Now don't need my scissors for this. Okay, so let's, I like how this has botany right there, so I kind of don't want to cover that up. I'm just going to do a little bit of this right there, but I think I want to tear that down because I want the stitching to show. Okay, okay, good, good. Um, what other dark, kind of dark papers do I have? What is this? Well, that's an old book page. It's kind of nice. Got just a piece of um, craft card stock that I think could be good. Do that one right there. And then maybe we'll do a bit. Let's look. Good time to use this. Ah, good time to use this. Just looking for dark pieces. It's kind of light. You're going to see why in a minute, why I wanted kind of darker. Ooh, look at this. This is good. This is good. Ooh, is it ever brittle? Okay, let me set this sideways. Get myself organized here. Oh my gosh, look how brittle that is. Oof. Exciting times in the woods. <laughs> that says, that's kind of cool right there, isn't it? Do I want something underneath of it? I think I do. Could go with that. Like under there. And then that on top of it. And I'm okay with that showing. Okay. First of all, I want to ink that so that it's maybe dark in this area. Okay. 
way too big of a stretch for my ink. I need to get it up here where I can reach it. Oh, sorry. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's get this on there. And then the other one. I'm real excited to try this, so I'm like hurrying <laughs> just because I want to get to the part that I had the idea about. Okay, so I'm just going to put that way up to the top there. Get that a little reinforcement. And this guy, oof, I'm going to have to be careful gluing it. Have kind of a light touch with it. It is fragile. Here we go. Okay. Okay, maybe we want something kind of across the bottom. No, nope. that's just like that there but I do want to have have it look separate from the book page is what I was thinking and was not coming out my mouth <laughs> okay and you're like well wow this is really neutral well it is for now I think it's gonna not be by the time we get done with it. Okay, so we had that there. We had that there. I want that botany to stay, but I'd like something under there. Let's use, let's use some of our beautiful paper from Liz. Oh, let's use this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear this right down this area I used some of the I think that's some of the uh, coffee dyed paper from Emily at vintage polka dot shop because it smells yummy okay and then I'm gonna just do that get a little bit of that off okay and then I just want to go maybe get to the top and okay, maybe right about here. Whew, that's going to be fun to have that in my little collage area. Okay, so that. Okay, I'm going to go down a little bit, which is okay because then my then my um, stitching shows. So you may have noticed I haven't had much to talk about family-wise lately because we've just been here at home taking care of our grand puppy and I haven't poked my nose out much. Although when you see this, I'll be at my retreat. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I am, I am ready for a little... R and R, which sounds funny because, you know, really, I'll start crafting at it probably at about nine in the morning or something, and go to bed at ten. What is that? Thirteen hours. Take off a couple hours for meals. Yeah, I'll probably be crafting about ten hours each day. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like heaven, doesn't it? You know, there'll be there'll be time for socializing and play in between, but but for the most part, and I have an ambitious work schedule for myself. So, okay, so I love that. Okay, this one, I want some straw paper. Where do I have a ripped piece? I do. 
So I want that to, I think I want it to go over the top. So I could go like that. Maybe we'll go this way and cover up that straight edge. Bet you were thinking that too. Okay. Pretty soon here I'm going to need a new glue page. So, yeah, if you haven't been watching Rachel on Roxy Creations and her 100-day challenge that she's done for herself, it is definitely, it's definitely worth a peek because she's just had some awesome ideas and it's just been very inspiring, Rachel. Thank you. Okay, and then here... I might want a piece of coffee dyed paper just to have some journaling space on that little envelope. Excuse me while I grab a piece of coffee dye. Okay. And let's see. Um, maybe we'll cut the edges so they're not straight. I've had lots of questions about these scissors. These are really old. These are from my scrapbooking days. These are Creative Memories scissors, and they, the name of them is Antique. And I have some others, but they're a little more, um, what would you say, a little more precise, you know, little curly cues and stuff. But, oops, sorry. I really like these. And... You have two because you have been commenting. Okay, this piece of paper is everything sticking to it. I would say it is done. Okay, and then let me, let me grab my glue book here. Okay, um, okay so this... I want to have it be how long? Not that long. Um, I guess we can use, okay. My basket is, is causing me to feel squished. Okay, I'm just gonna do it a little bit down into the pocket, not too much. And then, this side, we'll use this. Let's just go like that. Probably down about like so. Okay. And then that can kind of theoretically that could go in there, but I got it a little too. That's okay. Let's just do that. go okay yeah that's good Ooh, that side's prettier let's let's do that side ah okay this way let's go like that so I'm gonna go in between my stitching a little bit and then we're just gonna open up the pocket and go down in there at least that's the plan <laughs> okay so 
now we need to refold so that that inside folds. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's really nice. Okay. Now I'm thinking I want this at a pocket so I don't need to do anything on the back. Okay. So I think next step is I want to ink kind of more or less heavily around it. And you'll see I'm trying to even just really ink it all. You know, not just the edge, but even where there's book page. And you'll see why in a second. Excited to get to that point. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, in here... fold this that way. I really can't. I want to go kind of along the crease. We'll just do it this way. I like to fold it backwards and do this, but we'll just do it this way. That'll work. Okay, a little more right here. Maybe even just a tiny bit of okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. It's driving me crazy. Okay, it could sit here. Well, oh, that's a really good place for it. But that's where my ephemera box goes. But it's packed. Okay, I'm just dirtying this up a little bit. Okay, grungy, grungy, grungy. Okay, so now what I want to do, this is the part that I've been wanting to do, is I'm going to get my gesso. And um, I get a little paint palette. Let's grab something here and squirt just a tiny bit out. Hopefully, oh, more than I need, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm just gonna barely bear my barely get my brush into it. Ooh, this is fun. Just wanted to get a little painty today. That's what that's what I wanted to do. Ooh, I don't want to cover totally that music though.
what we want to do up here. Ooh, that's too much. Baby wipe. That baby wipe will be my clean off for my fingers. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Super grungy, super fun. Okay. Okay. So maybe a little bit in the middle here. Oh, that is grungy and fun. That feels awesome. I love that. Okay. All right. So, um, where are we? Oh, 41. Wow. Okay. Um, I actually think I'm done with the gesso, but I kind of like to use some of it up because there's more in here. I'm just going to. Do this on a scrap piece of straw paper and make a different kind of paper. <laughs> make one that's kind of all grunged up. And um, the straw paper I do get from Rachel at Roxy Creations. It's an Italian paper, I think. She lives in Italy and gets it there. Okay, I have my water up here. Did you see that? I put it right into the paint water instead of in my cup of water. Good job, Gail. Okay, get my hands cleaned off. And then give that a little swipe. All right, done with the paint. Let that dry. Put that back in the bit box. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm loving that. Okay, get rid of the gesso for now. And, whoops, everything fell over. I'll have to do that later. <laughs> okay, so what do I want to do with this now? Um,. love that. I don't know that I want to do anything to it. I think I may call that decorated. Although this right here could use something, couldn't it? Let's use, let's see, where are those? Which ephemera book are those in? I think it's this one. I'm thinking a little, I have some little flowers, stickers, that might be good there. Not too big. I kind of don't want the white. I was hoping I had one of the stickers that blends right in, you know, like these. But there's not a lot of, not a little, te lot of teeny tinies in this one. Um, this one? Yeah, they're all so big. What's this one? See, when I put that on there, then I'm thinking I want something here. Well, that's kind of nice, isn't it? It's 
kind of nice there. What about then a stamp maybe or something over on the other side? Um, ooh, let's try this one. Nope, a little too big. Kind of wanted it to fill that space, but that's a little too big. I'm not loving it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. I think I'm just so enamored with this the way it is that I, I think I'm going to leave it. And then as I'm using it in a journal, if there's something from that journal, because right here, well, that's a point right here is going to be covered up by a tag like like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Like that a lot. Okay. So what's that got on? That's got greenery on it. So what if we just went, do I have any other green? Look at this greenery. don't know why I'm into the upside down and sideways, but, but I like that. Okay. Okay. You know, sometimes you gotta just, <laughs> you gotta just keep at it. Okay. But then, then I'm feeling like there should be something on the flap too. Do we maybe have a greenery type of stamp? Butterflies. blue, red, Christmas. <laughs> nah, I don't think we want Christmas. Okay. So I've got some, it says espresso. Do we like that? What do you think? Does it need texture? Is that what it needs? I'm going to cut that because if I don't use it here, I can use it somewhere. That is, if I can find my scissors. Um, yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's funny how it eventually comes together. So I want that down like that. And then I'm going to use the um, Distress Ink to blend it in a little more. There we go. So put those right about there. I guess that's where it's going. <laughs> okay. So, do I want this? Yeah. The walnut stain has a bit of a green hint to it. And sometimes that's just what you want. Um, I do think, though, I'm going to give... It's going to get a little of both. How's that? That makes it really subtle. And I feel like I might need a little bit of vintage photo on this. Too, it's kind of white. Okay. And then we'll find some kind of cool little something for the edge of that. Um, A 
I'm going to fray the edges of that fabric a little more. Let's see. I have a pin over here. This is the trick for this, I'll tell you. It's just grabbing a uh, sewing pin and pulling it like that. Okay. More on that one. Okay. That was that. Well, I'm spending all hour. I'm spending an hour on this one. One little envelope. But I'm loving it. So I guess it's just worth it, isn't it? It's not a it's not a race. It's just doing your creativity, isn't it? So I'm going to put that right there. I want a little edge of the paper to show. That's nice. Okay. And then put this little stamp on there. Okay. Oops. Let's not put him upside down. What do you say? <laughs> Let's put him right side up. Okay. Well, I do like that one. And I have to look in my ephemera box to see what I have to put in there. A little card or something to put in there. So let's see how we're doing. Yeah, we're almost at an hour. So I am going to gonna call it good so this is our envelope that we made using gesso and ink and stuff to grunge it up nice and grungy so there it is and then we'll work on these maybe we'll work on these in a video tomorrow um, I want to do some with you know with some bright collage too so maybe we'll work on these tomorrow. Well, thanks everybody for joining me. This was a fun one. Just, just playing, just playing. So we will just see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.